Here's my Pantec Burst running CM10. Thought I'd uh, do a quick review of the phone with this custom ROM. So here's the lock screen. Um, my initial thoughts is it's a fast. Uh, it's fast compared to stock Gingerbread, ICS, or Gizmo Lord's uh, version of ICS. Uh, boot time is quick. As you can see, scrolling on here is nice. Animations and everything runs pretty well. Um, I've tried different games like Real Racing 3, Nova 3, Modern Combat 4, Gangster Rio, and even Candy Crush. Um, I haven't had any real issues with regards to uh, slow down or lag, it can play all these games pretty well. Um, and so this this uh, custom ROM runs very well. Um, I'm just trying a game here. One thing you'll have to take note when you... Um, let's go back to the main screen. When installing this custom ROM is you'll need to Remember to install Google Apps or G Apps on this phone through Clockwork Mod. Otherwise, you'll miss it. you'll be missing Google Apps like Gmail and uh, G Talk. Um, the other thing that I realized was this uh, this ROM doesn't have Flash Player installed on it, so you'll have to go to a website that has. Uh, the APK for Flash Player, Adobe Flash Player, and you'll have to install it separately. And you'd probably have to go into System Settings and somewhere in Developer Options. I forgot where they put it now. Maybe not Developer Options. I think it's under Apps now? It's confusing. I don't know where they put stuff. So another thing I was going to mention is the in Android 4.1 they kind of move certain things. So I'm not sure where you would uh, enable um, allowing unknown apps to to. But back to my review. Um, after installing. Uh, Flash Player. I also realized that one of the biggest things not working well on here is the Wi Fi tethering. So the native Wi Fi tethering won't work. You'll have to install a third party app. I installed the Wi Fi tethering, Wi Fi tether, and you can adjust the settings accordingly. Once I did that, uh, or once you do that, you can get Wi-Fi tethering. I haven't been able to get it work to work the way I want it to. So, if you need to live with Wi-Fi tethering, you're gonna have to do some a little research on how to get that to work. Uh, new to CM10, which is a nice feature. Not just CM10, but Jelly Bean. Android 4.1 is Google now. They've always had some kind of voice recognition, but now they create something to compete with with uh, it, what's it called? iPhone Siri. <clears throat> but the Google always had something like this available on their phones, but now they actually have a product called Google Now. So you can do something like set your alarm. Set alarm for 5 a.m. And it'll set your alarm, but let's cancel that. Okay. There's some other things you can try on this. It's nice if you like doing voice commands. Um, so that's what's new on CM10 for your Pantech Bursts. Um, personally, I do feel that Google Now and Siri are just gimmicks. I, I don't think I'll use it that much. Um, so with uh, Jelly Bean's interface, you have uh, very nice transitions. 
uh, if you go into system settings, the number where you can go into system settings, the settings button or from the status bar you can go into here um, so it'll take some time getting used to all these new slightly different uh, settings options uh, one nice thing is your uh, you do have access to performance you can change your CPU speeds so you can adjust clocking accordingly and there's some other things which I'm not too familiar with and so there's extra features on here uh, that will take some time getting used to one thing that I noticed was screenshots you can't use screenshots with power and volume down anymore so you have to go to the system menu go to power menu and you can adjust screenshots there and once you have it enabled you'd have to just hold and press power button to do screenshots now um, but let's go back to uh, really like performance wise uh, one thing I tested was battery life on this phone. Here I have a Wi-Fi and 2G data on and uh, for me it would last a little less than a day and less than two hours of usage but if I disabled 2G and uh, Wi-Fi and only turned it on when I really needed it the phone would easily last over about a day and a half but and I get more usage out of the phone maybe over two hours of actual usage of the phone so it still has issues with battery life you can't really change it I think you just need a better battery um, again both of my tests weren't including uh, 4G data turned on I'm sure with that on it would really drain the battery so it's really comparable to stock ICS and Gizmo Lords ROM uh, I never did really too much testing with gingerbread, but uh, that's pretty, it's kind of an old uh, operating system and you miss out on newer features. Uh, as for the camera, it runs pretty quickly. If you want to look at uh, the gallery all you have to do is slide over sorry about that just slide it over or you could press the gallery button over here so the transitions on here are, are pretty nice it runs pretty quick uh, taking pictures pictures is pretty quick with this camera for uh, CM10 going into options is pretty easy uh, there's no l big labels like in gingerbread so you, you kinda have to figure out what they do uh, so the camera to me is pretty good runs a little better than uh, stock ICS uh, the only thing that I was hoping it'd have is the uh, the sphere feature where you can take sphere pictures but uh, I think the Pantech Burst is missing like a gyro or something so you can't do that um, I already mentioned how the system settings is slightly different on here so it takes some time getting used to but as you can see animations on here are pretty quick um, in terms of stability while I was testing this for over a week I didn't really have any random reboots it rebooted once but that was when I had uh, 4G data on and um, there's just a common problem with T-Mobile and spotty 4G data coverage when it goes in and out eventually the phone reboots um, but besides that uh, I never had any real Wi-Fi issues like let's say it was in sleep if I came out of sleep Wi-Fi usually connected very quickly um, 
connecting to Wi-Fi or 2G never took that long. I had, on rare occasions, when I was turning off 2G and t turning it back on, uh, it did get stuck a few times and I had to reboot the phone, but it, it didn't happen too often. So while the week I had it, I just had to reboot the phone. Um, so my final conclusions about this uh, uh, custom ROM CM10 is that uh, I really do like it m more than everything else I've tried. Uh, to me, it's the fastest ROM I've used, and uh, a lot of the new features that they include uh, that are part of Jelly Bean, or even extra features like. Uh, uh, CPU clock speed or CPU governor or like uh, can't think off the top of my head but there's quite a few new features included with this ROM uh, make it really nice uh, the bad battery life on it is still an issue so it's too bad there's no way to fix it to get you a longer battery life but Game performance on this is good. You can play most modern games as long as it's compatible. The only game I didn't get this working with was uh, GTA Vice City. And so finally, it's also a very stable ROM. It didn't crash on me. So I definitely recommend this ROM for those who are looking to install some custom ROMs on their phone. So that's it.